Hey guys, Thomas here, and welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be exploring around what is left of La Swordsville Lake Amusement Park. It's been five years to the date since I've done a video on this place, showing it. So I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, we can go down in here. This is my first video showcasing the interior of so, the park. What we got here is the nice central area. We got the old carousel cover. Those arches right there are actually the arches that were from the food court. It used to be in this area over here. So we go over here, we go to the restrooms. We're going to go around the park starting on the right side and then work our way around. This is the picnic pavilions and inside them they still have the park picnic benches that they would have used for the park's picnics which right over here is where the pool and everything would be kids world. This entire area has been leveled replaced with grass and that's that's a theme you'll see a lot with this. It, pretty much everything has been leveled and replaced with grass. Over here we got another picnic pavilion. You can see they haven't done anything to these yet. They're still paint peeling, covered in vandalism from when the park was abandoned for close to 20 years. We'll go inside this one. Yeah, as you can see, just a lot of picnic benches. Obviously some of them are in worse shape than mothers. It's just the nature of them being left here to rot for close to 20 years. Lots of paint peeling. Over there, there's even a beam that's caved in. Yeah, as you can see here, it's one of the picnic pavilions. There's little speakers up there. A bunch of wires hanging everywhere. But yeah, once they paint these, they'll clean up quite nice. I'm concerned what they're going to do with this one over here, because I'll zoom in for you. As you can see, that's not structurally sound. I just want to show off something quick. Uh, these are the only remaining mid -light, midway lights on the property. These would go along the midway, over, over in that area, along to there. And they're still here, albeit in pretty bad condition. All right, let's make our way towards Tombstone Territory. So here we are at Tombstone Territory, or what remains of Tombstone Territory, which at the moment is one thing. So over here is where the old western buildings would be. Right around here is where the log flume station would be. It's where the log flume's layout would be completely leveled. Over here you can just see a singular tree just chilling amongst the debris. Over here you have the last remaining non-tree of Tombstone Territory. It's a little archway. Still standing tall. Almost 20 years since the park closed. Still here. All right, I'm gonna make my way down and around what was the lake over to the last remaining buildings. I will update you guys when I get there. So right over here, as we make our way to the far side of the park, this is where the Liberty Train station would be. Alrighty, and over here we have the final three buildings on the property. We're gonna over here, it's still in relatively one piece. Uh, it's missing some of the letters. A lot of the neon po poles are gone. But it is still here. And, as you can see over here, you have one of the supporting poles left. 
This is it. This is the only ride on the entire property that is still technically here. So you can see you got the panel. And then you got the OT certification sticker. Light switch. You got the big motor over here. Got another panel over here. And then you have the barn. Creative offices. They're still here. This is going to be reused as the museum and park offices. But this. And over here, we just have a storage building. I'm not going to show you. Not very interesting. There's nothing really over there. And running all the way along would be the Eagle. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace out.